Hello and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade. Ross Gordon joined now by the head coach of Norfolk State, Larry Vickers. And coach, uh, if it wasn't easy, you wouldn't be the head coach of Norfolk State <laughs> University. I, I think I think we've now gotten into a rhythm of uh, making it difficult down the stretch, but a win is a win. We talked about that earlier. Yeah, um, we'll take the win. Um, you know, I was just trying to tell them, like, we can't let our, de our offense dictate our defense. And we look down. I, I don't know. We, didn't, we look down. Um, I'll do a better job giving a pregame speech or something, but um, we can't play with that type of energy. When we play with a lot of energy, we're a pretty good team. Defensively, we did a good job holding that team to 10 points in the in the final three periods, second, third, and fourth. So that part I'm pleased with. Uh, Cam did a great job. Cameron Platmore is coming off the bench hitting shots for us um, when we weren't knocking anything down. So, you know, like I said, we'll take it. Every game's different. Um, this one was sloppy, you know, 16 turnovers. That's not like us, but... We got the dub. A career high for Cam, eight points tonight. Uh, she did some small things tonight, three steals, including one big one down the stretch. Yeah. Um, she did a good job, even though, again, like she, growing pains. You'll see it. You'll see a lot of it during the game, but she, you see her ability to shoot the basketball as well because the ones she made, they they looked like they were going in. Even the ones she missed from this wing mm -hmm. looked like it was going in. Yeah. Well, um, when we brought her here, you know, she was. We, we knew she had that capability to shoot the basketball. We don't have a ton of shooters on that team, on our team. That's no secret. Um, Longwood had a good game plan coming into the day. Some zones we haven't had, we haven't struggled with that much, but they did a good job at moving different people in their zone. So um, we'll get better. We'll watch film on it. We know Hampton plays some zone. It's a little different than that one, and we'll be ready for our next game. I think it's length that really, really changes up things when you play a zone too because they have, like, you look at the Smith, Akilah Smith, she can mm -hmm. play the wing a little bit. She blocked a couple of shots on the on the perimeter, so that changes up a little bit. Some of those shots that normally are easy, we double clutched. What I mean, they were they they just packed it in. Mm -hmm. um, the top of the zone was really standing at the nail. That's the free throw line. If, if you don't know the nail, um, they're just standing at the free throw line, daring us to shoot. We missed some shots early. We lost our confidence. We can't lose our confidence. This is home for us. We shoot here every day. Um, but like you said, um, we did a good job persevering. Uh, we did a good job in the second half, you know, getting some steals that led to this, some easy buckets. But we had some three-on-one opportunities we didn't capitalize on. Uh, again, you look at a game like this where, it, where they looked good in the first quarter, but then buckets mm -hmm. were hard to come by for both squads. Uh, we did a good job of, uh, of just fighting through, fighting through, looking for that bucket and looking for that next uh, next pass. And we did a good job in the second half, I think, of really composing ourselves. Yeah, I try not to coach numbers. Um, but I was, I was looking at the stats the other day, and uh, you could see uh, our first quarter, we're losing every first quarter by a large margin. Uh, but the third and the fourth quarter, we're winning by a large margin. And I guess that'll get us to five and three. Uh, we can do a better job with those first quarters. Our record might be a little better. Turtleneck only has one loss, and I think uh, also yeah, the Turtleneck's doing all right. <laughs> turtleneck's doing maybe, all right. maybe it's the half halftime speech, which is better than the uh, pregame speech. Well, at the halftime, generally, it's a lot of um, words that we can't <laughs> say on this broadcast. <laughs> but yeah, may, may, maybe I'll start with the words. There That's a go. good idea. I'll start with the with the words, and then we can kind of go from there. Thank you, Coach. We'll welcome in Shanette Hicks tonight again. Right. A huge night for Shanette. Shanette, twenty-three points, five assists, six steals. Uh, seven rebounds tonight for the senior from right here in Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, Shanette Hicks joins us here. Uh, good ball game for us, uh, Shanette. We really started off slowly in the first half, six points. Uh, you had 17 in the second half, and I think uh, Coach Vickers just talked about a defense leads the offense, and I think when we when we settle in on the defensive end, uh, we become much better. We struggled a little bit in that first quarter defensively. They they got some easy looks at the basket on some uh, pick and rolls, which we knew they were going to do. Mm -hmm. In the second half, we did a better job on that. Well, it was just about locking in on D. Coach always tells us, let's hit first. And we let them hit first, so we had to dig ourselves out of a hole. But like you said, when we lock in on defense, it just brings our offense and things just start rolling. Again, we Coach and I just talked about starts. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've struggled to start over the last couple weeks. But it says a lot when we can finish the way we finish, uh, especially when you get uh, production from uh, unlikely, unlikely sources. Cam Platt Morris tonight uh, was really the difference in the ball game. No one was hitting three pointers. Uh, we, I believe, four of 23 between the two teams. She hit two big ones in mm -hmm. the second half. Um, just her stepping up was a big thing for us. <clears throat> she just got in and executed and just followed through with the plan defense and offense. Coach told her be ready, and she was ready every time the ball was coming. And she really brought us back in this game, if you want to be honest. 
49-46, your final score here, Ross Gordon, Shanette Hicks. And I think, Shanette, I think one thing that can be said, and, I, and you hate to say it, but you don't want to look past games. Yes. And I know Hampton is a, is a big game coming up. And we started off a little sluggish, and he, he talked about that sluggish start. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how is it when you know there's a big game coming up to, to <coughs> get through this game? It's very exciting, but also like humbling. Like Coach said, we were looking so much for Hampton next week. I mean, um, in two days, Hampton, Hampton, that we started off sluggish, not paying attention to the scout, and letting number 14 dump it off 21, like he said they were going to do from the beginning. So it's just kind of you got to stay focused. That's all. We have a rivalry game coming up in two days. Five five assists in the first half for Tradesia Smith. We did a better job. She only had one, and then she turned the ball over three more times in the second half. So she had five assists in the in the first half. She only had one and turned the ball over in the second half three times. That's the kind of defense that we have to yes. play. And we, every couple guards did a good job. Ladeja did a good job. Even though she only, was only one of 11, she hit a big three in the second half. Uh, this team has got to – we'll find ways to win. Mm -hmm. We'll find ways to win, and we have a tough one on Saturday. What do we have to do to get back on the drawing board against a tough Hampton team? Um, just starting off hard and, like you said, just hitting shots is what we got. A lot of open shots that we like, we just have to hit them like that. Wide open threes, pull ups. They were open. The team played a zone, and I'm pretty sure a lot of teams will play a zone. We just have to hit the shots and bring them out of it. Hey, thanks, Jeanette. Uh, no good problem. night tonight. 23 points, seven rebounds, five assists, uh, six steals, one block tonight. Uh, good block. Thank uh, you. Congratulations <laughs> on that. Great block. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> no problem. That's Jeanette Hicks. The <laughs> final score tonight, Norfolk State wins it 49 46. Jeanette Hicks leads all scores with 23 tonight, seven rebounds, five assists, six steals. She. And Cam Platt Morris tonight will be our co players of the game. Cam, the freshman, had eight points, two rebounds, also had three steals. So the Spartans win. They're now five and three overall. Longwood falls to two and five. For everyone here, for Wu Baker Brown, Ross Gordon, thank you for watching NSU basketball right here on the NSU Sports Network.